Hi everyone, welcome along. I've been asked uh, by a lot of people want to do your own DIY plumbing and what is the basic kit I need. Now I've done another video on boxes and tools and stuff like that but I've been asked just what is the general very basic amount of tools that I could get away with to do plumbing jobs at home myself. And I thought that was quite a good question actually because um, there is quite a lot of variables on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be the take on my personal preferences on the minimum you might need at home. And I've been plumbing for 50 years and I use these tools the most I've realized you know, over time. So I'm gonna pass this knowledge on to you. Now I know other plumbers, other people may have different experiences in tools that they prefer, but this is my personal take on it. Um, I'm gonna show you the tools in a minute and what I'm going to do is take you over a few episodes so it covers a few videos of why these tools are in the order of the importance that I've laid them out at. Um, because this is how I kind of worked it that what is the most important tool, the second one, the third one, and so on, and why you might need them. Now, you don't have to spend a fortune because a lot of people say some of these tools are very expensive, but no, not necessarily the case. We can get them for a good price, and what I will do, um, I will put my Amazon link. On the video for you sort of each tool so that you can if you want go and purchase one knowing that it's the right spanner to buy or whatever it is <laughs> now I'm guessing you've all got just a basic hammer screwdriver pliers that type of thing at home so I'm not including any of those type of things because generally most people have got those kind of tools and uh, if you haven't then just go and get those because they're just the basic I'm not including those because uh, the kind of kit most people have got at home. But what we're talking about here is a basic plumbing kit that will enable you to do things like changing your own taps, repairing leaks uh, with pipe couplings. Uh, we're talking about maybe taking a rad off the wall and decorating behind, uh, radiator valves leaking, uh, the kind of jobs that you see all the time, your, your ball valve may be overflowing from your toilet, where you've got enough tools to change the valve, so on and so on. Well, these basic tools I've laid out here, and I've laid out eight, but uh, you know, you, you don't need eight. You probably get away with seven of them, you know, or even six actually, if I count them rightly. But I've laid out eight because these are the ones that you would need uh, for most little jobs at home. Okay, the, the least popular one I put at the very end because you may never need that one. But without further ado, let's take a look at them. So, here's our eight tools in preference for me anyway. Number one, adjustable spanner. Two, not everybody's favorite second, but a pair of footprints. Some people's favorite second is the mold grips, but that's my third. Fourth are these little thin adjustable grips. Very handy. And then fifth we got here, I'll put them together because a saw uh, is very, very cheap and the cutter's a little bit dearer, but you may never use this too often, whereas a junior hacksaw you could use for numerous other jobs. Okay, next, the basin spanner. Absolute master, really, that could have been further down the line, but I think in order that's where it is if you want to change taps or anything like that. Again, on the tap changing scenario, the next one in line is these. These are to undo monoblock mixer taps, and it's the only way you'll get them out under the sink. Followed by this spanner, which will undo half inch nuts on a back plate of a tap, and bath taps will undo the three quarter nut. Uh, on the underside of the bath. Again, you need this probably to get it out. Very last of all, and I put this on as an extra, and it's because some people are still getting a lot of block waste problems, and you can obviously still get the good old plunger, but this thing, it uses air pressure, and it's not that expensive. And if you're constantly suffering from blocks and things, this is quite a handy at all. Uh, you can always hire it out to people and get your money back on it, but it's still not that expensive. That's the Kango wheel, we call it, it actually just make it a pango. And it's the clear block sinks with. So there we are. Okay, we're on to uh, tool number seven. And this piece of kit, again, is invaluable if you've got monoblock mixer taps. Uh, indeed, if you've got bath taps and the base of spanner, I won't undo them because they're really tight. The back nut, I mean, on the back of the bath or the base and they've got a back nut, it's really tight. You, you need a box spanner. Now, this is especially mainly for 
monoblock mixers where you have a small nut on the back of the tap and nothing will get up there because the pipes are coming down in the way. So you first look at this and think this is an impossible job but this is the tool for it. So here we have a typical nut you would get holding monoblock mixers in. Now as you can see this nut you won't be able to get a spanner on there honestly you will not get one on um, because they are just too far up you can't move a spanner you've got to use a box spanner so as these nuts are all different sizes you've got to get the right one anyway because none of them are the same and this particular one is going to be that one there or that one there one which better yeah no, that's a better fit so that's how many different sizes of these nuts there are but the good thing is that would only bring you down halfway down the sink unit you still wouldn't be able to undo it from there so, what do you need? You need the other half of the spanner to fit up on there. Now this will fit up under there, it's either that side or that side, it's that one on that instance. And then, that then brings us down to there. So, down to there, we can then put the Tommy bar in, and it's that way around, and undo that nut. And it's a bit awkward to do, but it can be done with the, only with this spanner. <laughs> Believe me, it's the only one. And I'll put a link uh, on there for the Amp my Amazon site um, so you can buy one if you want to. They're not much money, but if you want to do monoblock mixers, whether it's basin um, or bath or, or sink, mainly sink, because you won't get up there, that's the only thing that will get it off, these. And they come highly recommended. Um, they're not very much money, uh, but you will need them. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have this spanner, I've took it out of the box now. Um, you don't need to buy expensive one, these are pretty cheap, this box spanner. And why do we need it? Because there's a, a typical style of um, basin tap, and this, that's too big as you can see, because that end is for a bath tap. That will fit a bath tap back nut, but this end will fit the basin or a sink. So if you have this type of tap in your sink or bath, um, you will probably need this to undo it. Um, the basin spanner will undo the pipe, nut probably get that off but it might not undo this because it tends to round a plastic nut off uh, and and slip especially if it's a plastic one and even if it's a metal one it can be so tight that the base of spanner won't get it but that's when you need to get your box spanner up there and undo it all we do is push the, the pipe out of the way uh, and get this up there and then because you've got uh, your turning rod there you can put that in there and turn it and undo the tap and then obviously when you put your new ones in back the other way and tighten it out and, and that will do uh, your bath sink taps. So that is a tool primarily for changing taps and that's in my opinion another kind of job uh, that home plumbers can do uh, and with that little bit of kit there uh, this will make sure that you can do the job as easy as possible. So the right tools is what we're talking about here for every and any job. You can do it, you don't need a call of plumber in. All right. <laughs> Save some money. All right, so that's it on that one, and that's that's why that comes next down the list on my rotor tools, but must have tools for home plumbing. All right, so that's it. I hope you like that one. Uh, usual place for my videos, you know where to go. Derek from 33. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.